think he's like getting closer. Is he ready to attack my plants? We don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be going through some plants that are honestly, I'm really over it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And yeah, let's just jump right into today's video. Okay, I have a bunch of these and I think really only one or two might surprise you guys, but I'm honestly just over it so I don't really know why I still have it. They don't spark as much joy in my plant collecting anymore, so it might be time for me to part with these plants, but yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to start off with this philodendron, which is the philodendron pastazanum. So I used to love this plant. Let me tell you, I was so obsessed and I was, sir, your bell is making too much noise. It's no manners whatsoever. Anyway, back to the pastazanum. So this guy, honestly, after it got hit with like, I think spider mites, it dropped a lot of leaves and I was just not as into it anymore. And I was just like, not down to rehab it and go through all the things with, um, pest prevention, pest treatment, and rehabbing this plant. So it took a while for it to really adjust after importing and then after importing it got hit by a pest. So yeah, this has gone through quite a bit and um, now it is no longer one of my favorites. I have other philodendrons that I like so much more. So I would say my Gigas and my Melanochrysum and my Splendid. I still like those philodendrons and even my El Chaco Red. But this Pasazanum has reached the end of his journey with me so yeah this is plant number one on plants that i'm just like kind of iffy about and i'm not really here for it anymore next up is one that's really gonna shock you guys so calm yourself before you come at me in the comments but it is the hoya polyneura so i know my hoya polyneura is pretty stinking big and a lot of people might actually like this plant the fishtail hoya but for me it's just like not doing it for me anymore and I just I don't know like I think the leaves especially when they don't grow out in pairs they look really funky if it's just like a single leaf I don't know if you guys know what I mean but like so yeah some of it kind of gets a little bit yellowish or bleached looking due to maybe too much sun because my grow lights like like to kind of um destroy most of my <laughs> leaves but they're just really strong and I think he's like getting closer. Is he ready to attack my plants? We don't know. Some technical difficulties. Memory card was full. Anyway, back to this Hoya Polynera. Um, I just don't really like this plant anymore. I mean, the leaf shape is kind of cool, but I think I've just always been a thicker leafed Hoya. I don't really like flimsy looking Hoyas, flimsy feeling Hoyas. So these thin leafed Hoyas are just not my cup of tea. And I tried to get on this trend and the bandwagon, but you know, it's just not it. So yeah, Hoya Polynera probably going to be rehomed soon. So we'll see when that happens. I'm just a little bit lazy right now in like posting plants and selling them and I just have too many things going on. But yeah, Hoya Polynera. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate because everyone loves this Hoya. Okay, moving on is another plant that I used to absolutely love and it is my Cebu Blue Pothos. So this beautiful plant, honestly, used to be my favorite and it's because of the bluish silver leaves it was the super vigorous growth that it honestly resembles any of the other pothos like a golden pothos a mandula pothos a marble queen pothos all of them they grow really really quickly and uh the cebu blue is no different so the thing with this is i like to keep my plants in leka and for some reason this likes to rot in leka very regularly every so often all the leaves tend to yellow which i feel like it's happening right now the leaves yellow and then they fall off and it just starts looking bare and i'm like wait what the heck i've done nothing different and it just likes to rot on me so that's just the way it is and i think the cebu blue pothos is just not meant for me so probably would do better in another environment or another medium but I'm too stubborn to really grow it in anything else but LECA because I like to have all my plants in like semi-hydro unless they're an orchid which goes into moss and bark. So yeah, 
this is plant number three on the list of plants that are not sparking as much joy and I'm just pretty much over it. Next one is another philodendron. So I've been kind of falling off the philodendron like bandwagon recently. I still like my anthuriums, my orchids, my hoyas, but philodendrons not so much. So I'm trying to not add any additional philodendrons to my collection because clearly I have some to get rid of. So yeah, this one is the next one and it is the philodendron plowmanii or mame. I don't really know. I got it as a wet stick and this is what it grew to. Obviously had some humidity issues and unfurling issues so a chunk of it is literally missing and honestly, I mean it's a cute leaf otherwise and the pattern is really nice. It gives me slight soderoy vibes but not fully <laughs> and it's just really nice. It's just I think it would look and do so much better if it was in somebody else's care honestly. And yeah, I think this is also slightly a pest magnet as well. This one and my pest is anim. I don't know why. They always get pests. So either spider mites or thrips or mealybugs, whatever. But my other philodendrons are doing perfectly fine. So yeah, this annoys me and that's why it is on the list. Okay, last plant I want to show you guys is um, a jewel orchid. So don't hate me, but... <laughs> I used to be really really into jewel orchids and I don't know what happened. It might be that they are just not happy in my care or they require too much maintenance if it's outside of a terrarium setting. So if you have it in moss, I feel like you have to keep watering the moss. If you have it in soil, it rots too easily. But yeah, this is my Ludicia Spider-Man. So it is a cross between two different jewel orchids. As you can see, a lot of the leaves kind of just die off and they're just kind of a bunch of growth points. So this is not cute. This is really not cute. And so I'm clearly not going to be getting any more additional jewel orchids to add to my collection. They look really nice from afar and in other people's collection, but clearly in mine they do not do well. And this is what comes of it. Even my Ludicia discolor isn't looking too hot right now, so the Spider-Man clearly didn't have a chance. Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> I tried to cut off one piece to propagate and um, yeah, not really growing any roots and not doing much of anything, so <laughs> yeah, just not. Not a good plant for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if you guys have plants that are no longer sparking joy and you're just really over it. You're over the trend. You're over the madness that people were, you know, experiencing trying to buy these plants. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a video a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.